Welcome to AutoCAD with CAD Eng. In this video, we will learn about functions of mouse button. We all know we have right click button and left click button on mouse and there is a wheel as well. In AutoCAD, this left click button is generally used to initiate commands and continuation in commands. Let's say if I want to initiate line command, I will use left click button. Here you go. Now I'm in a command and to continue this command, I will click left click here to make a line and I can click another left hand click to click another point and I can click here left mouse button click to continue my line now I wanna leave this line here so what should I do I will use right click button when I press right click button you will see what I get right click button I get enter or cancel and some other options too but mostly in AutoCAD we are concerned with enter or cancel they both will give us same result if I press enter the command will be gone here you go the command is complete if I press cancel again it means we don't want to continue command and command will be gone let's see again left click button to pick a line command I'm clicking here to generate a line second click here to generate a line third click here now I want to cancel this command I don't want to continue I will right click and this time I will hit cancel and you see with cancel or enter I got same result now little bit of wheel if I scroll mouse wheel upward what AutoCAD will do it will zoom in it will go in detail let's see now I am zooming in by scrolling upward if I scroll downward it will zoom out with each scroll it's zooming out zooming out means going away and if I scroll upward it will zoom in that means we are going in detail into the drawing there's another thing this is a wheel but this is also a button if I press this wheel roller I can do panning panning me moving my page in any direction I want I will demonstrate that I am hitting I am hitting wheel and I have this hand symbol which means wherever I move my mouse it enables me to do panning panning mean moving drawing in any direction right left upward I can freely move my drawing in any direction I press this wheel button and I am holding it I am it. if I release this wheel button I will be out of panning let me show you now I am releasing this one see now it's not panning when I press and hold I can do panning so there are two functions zoom in zoom out and panning with this wheel button we also use left click button to select anything from drawing let's say if I want to select this line I, I did a left click and I got this selection I d I'm not holding this one I just did a click and released mouse button and I could select this one if I want to select this one too I will click and release this line. So I got two lines selected I can continue to do selection by just left clicking and releasing now if I hit right click button while my uh, pointer is on the object 
let's see I am on this node and I click right click button let's see I get few options I can repeat this repeat line I can do a I can pick any recent command I can do a word kind of thing like cut copy paste I can isolate I can move scale rotate I can give some commands just by right clicking it's a quick way actually with the right click you get few options to expedite your drafting so I will just hit escape from keyboard to get rid of this menu and I'm out of this menu now if I click over here not on, on the object let's see what happens see unselected everything when you do a right click on on object you get options but if you right click on on space then command will be gone there is another important thing with the right click button you get properties and in properties we can do all the modification of any object which is selected I just hit left click button and I select this line now I will hit right click button and I got this menu and you know properties are here I can click this one and I get properties of of this line like what color I wanna choose what line type I will go for I can do a modification from here so it's a good tip whenever you have an object and you wanna make some changes in it you can just right click and get properties and in properties you can do anything you don't have to go here to find proper tool for modification you can just right click and go in properties for modification of any object so this is a good tip i hope this lesson is helpful please share like subscribe and give your feedback in comments take care of yourself we'll see you in next video